What's up, YouTube? Uh, today, uh, I will be teaching you how to split frequencies uh, in Ableton Live. Uh, this is usually a technique used in most most good dubstep. Otherwise, it's yeah, it's a very professional thing to do. All right. Uh, first of all, we'll start off by dragging Massive into a MIDI channel, um, and I cannot be bothered making a sound, so we will just open up a preset. We'll say aggressive number three. You can sound it sounds pretty good. Alright, now what you want to do is, uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll record a sound first uh, by doing create audio track, clicking uh, exit in and changing that to resampling. And now hold control and click the little recording button just here. And that means that the sound will come from both when you record up here. So we'll just record one sound. Alright. Now I just did that by holding down my the C key on my uh, mini controller and unclick this, make a new audio channel, drag this up to here, and then drag it into the new audio channel. Alright, this is the sound that I just played then. Just uh, edit this a little bit. Uh, excellent. Alright, take this, and what you want to do is Control D, duplicate it twice. So now we have three instances of that sound running at the same time. Now that sounds a bit ridiculous because there's three of them all at once. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take the first one, rename it to lows, the middle one, rename it to mids, and this one, rename it to highs. Alright, I like to pr I prefer to do this in uh, this view, but you can do whatever. Go ahead and delete that if you want. Alright, uh, solo your lows track, and it'll sound like this. Oh, wait. Make sure you're looping your selection as well, because you don't want it to keep playing. Alright, so you can see I've soloed this track by clicking S. Alright, make sure you have the lows track selected. Go into your instrument, live devices, and choose the auto filter. And drag auto filter down. And what you'll see is I'll show you the sound difference when we put this on. As you can see, the auto filter obviously filters out particular frequencies. So with the lows, we'll drop it down till about 306. So we're just getting the low frequencies. Alright, stop that. Solo the mids track, select it, and this uh, it, it sounds normal. What we do, make sure it's selected. This time, drag on two auto filters. With this one, reverse it so it now faces this way as opposed to that way. And drag it out just to where we cut off the other one, which was about 306 hertz. Uh, 306 and do the same thing here on the other side and drag it out so you're only getting the mid section uh, about six yeah that's about there should be fine I should sound like this boost them just a little bit and now we're only getting the mid section so if we solo them both lows and mids Lows, mids. Alright, now we'll just do the same thing with the highs. Drag an auto filter down, reverse it. And there you go. Highs, mids, lows. And now this gives you complete control over uh, the sounds that you want to make. So I'll go ahead and group them. Uh, just so with the mids, I want to add in, say, a, let's put a, a saturator on this. Uh, 
When you clipping it going, make sure it's all in the green. And then of course you could come here and then drag an EQ on here, drag EQ kit onto the lows. You could boost the lows as much as you want. See what and the good thing is you can solo them and you can hear exactly what, you're, what, what the sound you're making is. Uh, it's a great technique, it's very useful and gives you complete control on the sound you get to make. Anyway, um, I hope I helped you out. Uh, I know it was just a quick tutorial but it's very easy actually once you get the hang of it so you know play around get some get some cool noises going all right thanks rate comment subscribe and uh, if you get the chance uh, listen to some of my actual tracks peace out